we are going to see the instruction SUB register. So for this instruction, the first part is SUB that is known as opcode. The remaining portion is register that is known as operand. For this instruction, no data can be seen. It means this instruction is of one byte. Now let's discuss the meaning of this instruction. The instruction is SUB register. It means subtract contained of register from accumulator. I am repeating subtract contained of register from accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. Let's see one example. Suppose the example is SUB B. Now for the subtract instruction we will consider two cases. In the first case we will consider the content of accumulator is greater than the content of register. In the second case we will consider the content of accumulator is smaller than the content of register. And we will see how the instruction is performed. So let's see the first case. Before the execution of this instruction the content of accumulator is 33 h. If you represent this number into binary you will get the number that is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Before the execution the content of register B is 32 h. If you convert into binary you will get 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So before the execution the content of accumulator and B is this. So the instruction is so the instruction is SUB B. It means subtract the content of B from the accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. Now to perform the subtraction the microprocessor will use two's complement method. So to subtract B from A the microprocessor will first convert the B into two's complement. So right now the content of B is 32H in the binary it is like this. To perform the subtraction, the microprocessor will perform 2's complement of register B. So what is a 2's complement? 2's complement, it means 1's complement plus 1. So let's perform 1's complement of register B. You will get 1100 1, 1, 0, 1. This is the 1's complement. If you add 1, you will get 2's complement that is 1 and 0. So this is the 2's complement of the register B. After that, the microprocessor will perform the addition. So let's perform 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and carry will be generated. Now, always remember for the subtraction, the microprocessor will perform complement of carry which we got after the subtraction. So after the subtraction, we got carry 1. So microprocessor will perform the complement and the actual carry that will be stored in the carry flag will be 0. And if you convert this number into hexadecimal, you will get 0, 1, H. So after the execution, what will be the content of accumulator? It is 0, 1, H. And what will be the content of register B? It will be 32. H. Now let's see the second case. In the second case, the content of accumulator is smaller than the content of B. Now we are taking the same example that is SUBB. -B. We know that what is the meaning of SUBB? Subtract content of B from the accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. To perform the subtract, the microprocessor will perform first two's complement of register B. So content of B is 32H, it is represented in the binary. If you convert this number into 1's complement, you will get 1100-1100. And if you convert into 2's complement, you have to add 1 to the 1's complement. So if you add 1, you will get this. So the 2's complement of register B can be seen. After performing 2's complement, the microprocessor will perform the addition. Let's perform the addition. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 
1 and carry is 0. After the subtract operation, the microprocessor will complement the carry that we got in the subtraction process. So, in the subtraction process, we got the carry 0 and microprocessor will complement that carry and it will become 1. So, what, so what is the answer? So, if you convert this number into hexadecimal, you will get F, F, H and carry is 1. So, after the execution in the accumulator, the FFH will be stored and the register B, 33H will be stored. Now, if you pay attention, right now the content of carry flag after the execution of this instruction is 1. Now, what is the meaning of that? When the content of carry flag is 1, after the execution of subtract instruction, it means that the answer is negative and it is in form of 2's complement. Okay? So, from the carry flag, we can get that whether the answer is positive or negative. If after performing the subtract, if the content of carry flag is 0, it means the answer is positive and it is in normal form. And if the content of carry flag is 1, after the subtraction, it means the answer is negative and it is in 2's complement. Form. Now let's see the machine cycle. Because this instruction is one byte, when we give this instruction in the memory, it will occupy only one memory location. So this whole instruction will be stored. That is sub B. After the instruction is stored, the processor will start doing its work. That is to fetch, record, and execute. To fetch the instruction, the processor will perform the machine cycle upward fetch. When it performs the upward fetch, the instruction will be transferred to the memory. Processor will decode and execute. During the execution. The processor is doing subtraction between the register and the accumulator and answer is stored in the accumulator. So all the processes are done within a microprocessor, no interaction with the memory is done during the execution process. So it means only one machine cycle is needed that is a port fetch. And because this instruction is arithmetic instruction, all the flags will be affected according to the result. So now let's see the instruction SUB. M. For this instruction, the first part is upward, that is SUB, the remaining part is operand, that is M. In this instruction, no data is present, it means this instruction is 1 byte. Uh, now let's see the meaning of the instruction, SUB M. SUB M means subtract the content of memory location from accumulator. Subtract content of memory location from accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. But the question is which memory location? So whenever in the instruction M is specified, it means the memory location specified in HL pair. Okay? Let's see one example. Suppose the example is SUP M. Before the execution, the content of accumulator is 33H in hexadecimal. It is also represented in the binary. Before the execution, the content of HL pair is 4000H. Now, what is the meaning of sub M? It means subtract content of memory location from accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. Now, what is the content of memory location? So, we know that whenever the instruction M is present, it means the memory location specified in HL pair. So, in HL pair, which memory location is specified? 4000H. So, what is the content of 4000H? It is 32H. So, when this instruction is executed sub M, it means subtract the content of memory location specified in HL pair from accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. Now, to perform the subtraction, the processor will use 2's complement. So, to subtract the content of memory location from accumulator, the microprocessor will first convert the content of memory location is the content of memory location in two's complement form. So this is the binary representation of 32H. Let's represent in two's complement. To convert two's complement, we have to first convert this number into one's complement. So if you convert this number into one's complement, you will get something like this. For 2's complement, it is 1's complement plus 1. So if you do 1's complement plus 1, you will get 1, 0. 
So this is the two's complement representation of the number which is stored in the memory location. After that, the microprocessor will perform the addition. So one zero 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 and one. After performing the subtraction, whatever the carry we are getting, the microprocessor will perform complement of it. So right now we are getting carry as one. Microprocessor will complement that carry, and in answer we will get zero as carry. And if you convert this number into hexadecimal, you will get zero one H. So after the execution in the accumulator, zero one H that is the answer will be stored. What will be the content of HL pair? So after the execution, the content of HL pair will remain unchanged. That is four thousand H. Now after the subtract instruction. If we are getting zero in the carry, it means the answer is positive and it is in original form. After the subtract instruction, if we are getting one in the carry, it means the answer is negative and it is in two's complement form. So you have to note it down that when the carry is zero, after the execution of this instruction, the answer. Is positive. It means the answer is positive and it is in original form. After the execution of the subtract instruction, if the content of carry flag is one, it means the answer is negative and it is in two's complement form. Okay. Now let's see the machine cycle. This instruction is of one byte. So when this instruction is stored in the memory, it will occupy only one memory location. That is SUB N. After this instruction is stored in the memory, the processor will start doing its task. That is to fetch, decode, and execute. To fetch the instruction, the processor will perform the first machine cycle. That is upward fetch. When upward fetch is performed, this whole instruction is transferred from the memory to microprocessor. The processor will decode and it will execute. Now let's pay attention in the execution. In the execution. What is happening that the subtraction is being done between the accumulator and the content of memory location. Now the content of memory location is not yet read by the microprocessor. To perform the subtraction between the accumulator and the content of memory location, the processor has to transfer that data to the microprocessor. And to transfer, the processor will perform the machine cycle memory read. When memory read is done, this data will be transferred to the microprocessor. Processor will perform some track and answer will be stored in the accumulator. So only two machine cycles are needed. That is upward fetch plus memory read. Because this instruction is arithmetic instruction, all the flags will be affected according to the result.